Welcome to the final and exciting conclusion to this three-part trilogy here. This is part E, which is, uh, what is the velocity and position of the ball that Red Elk hits at an elevation of 60 meters from the ground on the way down? Okay. Now, here's the problem, right, is uh, you know, he hits this initially with this velocity, 78 degrees, right? The first thing we did was we busted the, out the components of that initial vector. So there's 41.3, there's 78.2 degrees. And we found the x component here and the y component there, okay? And, and we have to use that. We're going to use this initial velocity to solve this problem. So let's set up our, our little thing here, right? Okay. Let's set up our um, horizontal vertical table, right? Horizontal vertical Okay, and now we're just going to borrow some values from that table there, right? Our initial velocity is the same one, right? So it's 8.4457 meters per second, right? And then the initial vertical is 40.4272 meters per second. And again, we got those from cosine and sine, right? From the original problem. Now we're all set. We can just keep going here. An elevation of 60 meters, that must be a vertical thing, right? Acceleration here is negative 9.81, right? Um, and then we also know this acceleration is zero. And we know that, that the final vertical velocity, and the, the, vert the velocity, I'm sorry, the, the horizontal velocity here, the whole time is going to be constant. So 8.44, right? And now we're set. We're ready to go. We can solve this side here. I'm going to use uh, v squared is u squared plus 2as to figure out the, um, the final velocity there, right? So it's going to be the absolute value of v is equal to the square root of uh, 40.4272 squared plus 2 times negative 9.81 times 60. Okay square root of 40 point four oops four two seven two squared plus two times negative nine point eight one times sixty and that is I get twenty one point three eight meters per second right I'm gonna write that down here now by the way, that's the absolute value of this. Of course it's going down, right? Because it says 60 meters from the ground on the way down. So I'm going to make this negative. And I can do that because... I can do that because this answer here could be positive or negative, right? The absolute value of that thing is could be positive or negative, right? So I'm going to put the negative value there because it's going down. Okay. Now I can solve for time. I can use uh, v as u plus a t, right, to find the time. This is my initial velocity, that's my final velocity, and that's my acceleration. Okay, so let's do that. 4272, right? Okay, uh, divided by 9.81. And I get that it takes 6. Point three zero zero six seconds to go to get to that point, okay? And now I can castle that guy across, right? I can sort of slide that guy across here. 6.3006 zero zero six seconds, okay? 40.4272, yeah, there we go. Okay, and now I'm all set. I can use S equals UT to find out our displacement, right? Okay, so let's do that. That's going to be this times this. So I'm going to multiply that number times uh, 8.4457. And I get 53.21, I'll just say 3 meters, okay? Now, it's like, what is the position of the ball at an elevation of 60 meters from the ground on the way down? So here's, here's our trajectory, right? It's like, Nice high trajectory there. 60 meters is somewhere like there, right?
because we know this peak point is 83.3 meters. So here's 60 meters. Okay, it's right here. It's on the way down. We know that it's 60 meters up because we were given that, and we know that it's 53.2 meters over. So this distance here is 53.2 meters. Okay, so that's its position. We've got how far up it is. Right, 60 meters up, 53.2 meters over. And then, then we can then it says what is the, the velocity of the ball, right? When it's 60 meters. Well, two ways we can write this velocity. Way number one is really simple. We just take these the final answer here, right? This guy. These are our components. That's x hat, this is y hat, right? So I can go uh, 8.45 with three sig figs, right? Meters per second x direction plus, uh, what is that, negative 21.4 meters per second y hat. So this is a component vector. Oh, okay. Almost certainly, almost certainly though, um, what I want is probably an angle magnitude vector. So let's make an angle magnitude vector, okay. So I'm going to use the more precise values here. Okay, so this one is, what is that, 8.4457. meters per second that way and uh, 21.381 meters per second down, right? The magnitude of this or the speed of it at that point is the square root of okay, so we can toss that in there, square root of plus uh, 21.381 squared. So that hypotenuse is 22.9886. Right, so with three sig figs, we'd actually have to say 23.0 meters per second is our speed. Speed is the magnitude of our velocity vector, right? And then this angle there, that angle, is tan minus one of the opposite over the adjacent. So there's an opposite, there's adjacent, right? So it's 21.381 divided by 8.44. Yeah? So inverse tan, 21.381 divided by I'm getting 68.4 degrees. So, two, two ways to answer the velocity. 8.45 meters per second x, negative 21.4 meters per second y. Okay, and then the other way is to draw a picture here and say the magnitude of the velocity or the speed is 23 meters per second and it's 68.4 degrees below horizontal at that point. Yay!